Hello, thanks guys for coming to another video by The Calculator Guy, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to program Pong on the TA84 Plus CE. So I was surprised to find that there are no videos so far on YouTube with a video to program Pong on the CE, and I'm glad to say that this is going to be the first video ever for the CE on Pong. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you guys need to do is press the program button, which is PRGM right there. Scroll over to New to make a new program and press enter and give your program a name. I'm going to name it Pong. Okay. Once you give it a name, you press enter and now you're in the program editor. This program is about 44 lines long and uh, the first few lines are actually going to be pretty easy. So it's really going to be about 35 um, lines that you're going to code. So the first few lines are going to be storing variables and variables basically um, are used in almost every single program that you're ever going to make and it just stores values to locate where the ball is and to locate where the paddle is. So let's uh, store a few variables. So let's store one into X. So to do that, we press one and then the store button, which is right above the on key right there, store, S-T-O, and then you're going to press X. All right, there you go. One store X. Press enter to make a new line. The next line is one store Y, so one store, and then Y is alpha one, so Y. Okay, the next line is five store P, so five store alpha eight, enter. Next line, we're gonna store zero into L, so zero store alpha, close parenthesis, enter. We're gonna store one into C, one store alpha program, Enter, we're going to store 1 into D, 1, store alpha, x to the negative first, enter, and then we're going to store 0 into S, so 0, store alpha natural log, which is ln above store. Okay, so basically, so x, is, x and y, that's going to be the coordinates of the ball, p is going to be the uh, x coordinate of the paddle, l is going to, is the boolean for if the game um, needs to stop or not. C and D is the direction of the ball and S is the score. So those are the variables in this program. Okay, the next line is clear home. So you're gonna press enter and you can press program and you're gonna scroll over to I slash O. You're gonna scroll down to number eight, clear home and you're gonna press enter. There you go. Now press enter to make a new line. Now we're gonna input select speed. So press program I slash O and then enter, which is input. Now we're going to do open quotes, which is alpha plus. So alpha and then quotes is plus right there. Okay, so that's open quotes and we're going to say select speed. So you're going to type in select speed. You can pause the video if I'm going too fast. Select, select and then speed. And then we're going to type in one through 10. So we're going to do space and then we're going to press alpha to go back to normal and I'm going to go 1 minus 10 and then we're going to do quotes again which is alpha plus and then we're going to do comma and then we're going to do a so basically what that does is it stores so it um, makes you select the speed 1 through 10 and whatever you type in it's going to store that into a and if you want to make the program look neater you can hover over the cursor over the closing quotes press second del and then press alpha dot, okay, which is the colon right there. We're going to select speed, colon, and then A. So that's, we're going to input select speed, and we're going to do minimum of 10, A, store A. So we're going to do math, and then we're going to scroll over to number, um, and then we're going to do min, and then we're going to do 10, comma, which is above 7, if you didn't know that, right there, comma, A, store A. And basically what this is going to do is if the person types in a number higher than 10, it's going to store it automatically to 10. And then press enter. And then we're going to do max 0 A A. So we're going to do math and then numbers. And then we're going to do maximum 0 comma A store A. And if the person types in a number lower than 0, it's going to automatically bump it up to 0. Now we're going to do clear home. So program I slash O, number eight, clear home, press enter. 
Now we're gonna do repeat, so which is program, scroll down to number six, enter. G equals 45, so G, and then equals is second math, enter, so second math, enter, equals 45, or, which is second math, and then we're gonna scroll over to logic, and it's number two, or L equals one, L equals, which is second math, enter, one. Press enter. Now we're gonna do weight. So we're gonna do program, scroll all the way down to letter A, which is weight right there. Do weight, um, double open parenthesis, 10 minus A, close parenthesis, divided by 100, right there. Press enter. Now we're gonna do get key, which is program, I slash O, and scroll down to number seven, get key, and we're gonna store G. What that does is it asks the user for a um, key press, and then it's gonna store that into G. Okay, we're gonna press enter. Now we're gonna do if X equals one, so program, enter, which is if, and then X equals, which is second math, enter, one, we're gonna do enter. We're gonna store one into C, one store C, enter. If X equals 26, so program enter, X equals 26, enter, negative one, store C. Basically what that does is if the ball is on the very left and right of the screen, it's going to change the direction of the ball, okay? Now we're going to do if y equals one. So if y equals one, that's if the ball is at the top of the screen, enter one, store D, then it's gonna make the ball direction to one and it's gonna start moving down. And then if y equals 10, so program enter, if y equals 10, enter, then, which is program two, enter, and then enter, and then if x is less than, we're gonna do second math, and it's right there, less than number five. If x is less than p, XOR, which is second math logic, and number three, which is XOR, x, is greater than, which is second math, and then it's number three, p plus three, p plus three, enter, one, store L, enter, negative one, store D, and if you don't know where the negative is, it's right next to the decimal, right there, okay? So one store L, negative one store D, and then we're gonna do S plus one, store S, that adds um, the score, um, that adds one to the score, and then we're gonna do an end. All right, so basically what this does is if y equals 10, which is if the ball is at the bottom of the screen, if x is less than p, so x is greater than p plus three, so that means if the ball is not on the paddle, then store one into L, which basically says, hey, the game is lost. And then negative one store d, which makes the ball direction start making go upward. And then S plus one S, uh, which adds one to the score. All right, so that was a little bit of talking right there, but we're almost done with the program. We just need about 10 uh, to 15 more lines. All right, so now we're gonna do if G. So if G, enter, we're gonna do program, and then we're gonna do output. So program, I slash O, number six, output. And we're gonna do 10, comma, P, comma. And then we're gonna do space. So we're gonna do quotes, alpha plus, and then we're gonna do a space, which is alpha zero. And you can see the space is right there. All right, so output 10, P, a space. Okay, press enter, make a new line. We're gonna do this next couple of lines is gonna be pretty large. We're gonna do P minus two, open parenthesis, G equals 24. And, so which is second math and logic and P 
is greater than 1, store P, enter, and then the next line is going to be very similar, P plus 2, open parenthesis, G equals 26, and second math logic, enter, P is less than 23, store P, enter. Now we're going to output the paddle, so we're going to do program I slash O, and then number 6 output, we're going to do 10, comma, P, which is the paddle X coordinate, comma, we're going to do quotes, and we're going to do four subtraction signs right there. 10 P, four subtraction signs. Enter, now we're going to output the ball, but first we're going to output the space, a space of the ball, so that it erases the ball every time it goes through the repeat loop. So we're going to do output y comma x comma and then we're going to do a space which is a quote and then space enter we're going to do x plus c store x enter y plus d store y and then enter and then if l equals zero if l equals zero enter output program i slash o output y comma x comma and then we're going to do zero enter so that basically says if the game is still running then output the ball and then we're going to say program seven which ends the repeat loop so this is the end of the repeat loop and it's going to keep repeating through um, until the game ends and then we're going to do clear home. So program I slash O number eight, clear home, enter. Now we're going to do three outputs. So we're going to do output four comma 10 comma game over. So quotes and then type in game over and then press enter and then output. So program I slash O number six, five comma 10 comma, and then quotes, and then score, and then we're going to do colon, which is alpha decimal, enter, and we're going to do output 5, comma, 17, comma, S, and then we're going to do enter, last line, and the last line is just quotes. And the reason why is so that the done message doesn't get displayed if you um, run the program. For most programs, a done message is displayed. This prevents it from being displayed. It just makes the program look cleaner. So if you typed all of this, congratulations, you just made a Pong program. So let's go ahead and run it. So let's scroll down to Pong right there. Enter, enter, select speed. Let's do 10. And the game is very, oh no, there's a bug in the game. Wow, of course there's a bug. All right, let's find the bug. All right, so. I'm going to look, so go back to the program editor, you can press program edit, and you can go back to the Pong. So it looks like the it's in the output right there. So, um, 10p, did I do, th oh, yep, there you go. Instead of just one space, it's actually going to be four spaces. So space, space, and then space. So 10p, and then four spaces. So that's the bug that was there. Now let's go ahead and run the program again. Let's do 10 and there we go. The program is successfully running on your calculator and you are successfully playing Pong on your calculator, which is very fun. Look at that. The speed is very high. Let's see how high of a score I can get and then we'll end the video. Wow, my score is going to be very high. And it's increasing and increasing. And the reason why I am so good at this is just because it's a simple game. You guys should be able to get a score maybe even higher than me. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. I got game over. My score was 28. If you guys beat 28, post in the comments. Hey, I beat your score of 28. You suck. Haha, ha, lol. Um, so thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked the video, then please like. If you guys liked the video um, a lot, then please consider subscribing to my channel for more content. And I hope to see all you guys in another video.